Look at this zoo. You can't even get, it's not even snapper season. This is your average Saturday anymore. There's the Jetty Wolf. Can you see this parking lot? Wow. It's a zoo. Boats I've never seen before in my entire life. Everybody's coming out of the woodwork. Yeah. All right, don't get here early, folks. Whatever you do, don't ever come here early. Come really late. Come really late. Don't come early. There's your big, big center consoles. All right. Yep, Weedle Snapper Day. Then it's really crazy. Yeah. All right, look at that. Hmm. Check that out. Aaron's got a drag screamer on. Behind a shrimp boat. He's not. He's, he's not. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. I think he's going all over the place. <laughs> Here, let's check that drag. Oh yeah, that could be a lot tighter. All right, there we go. There we go. At least he's not. There we go. G gaining a little bit on him now. All right. Aaron's putting a whooping to him. Look at the bend in that rod. We got him right under the boat. Woo! Look at that. Stalemate. We're thinking it's foul hooked. He might be a foul hooked black tip. They fight extra hard. <laughs> Woo! Alright, we got him to the boat. It's been probably 30, 40 minutes. Yep. Way down. I had one's tail hit this yesterday and it can flip it up and smacked into my top. Alright, stay in a good fighting position. There it goes. Oh, Thank God. Thank God for gloves. Look at it, the whole swivel just grabbed me right there. That's the reason I want them Kevlar gloves. <laughs> we go to catch one and it has to be the man. At this point, I don't care if he pops the whole leader and everything. Wow. How is he not tired? I don't know. I do not know. Oh, how, this, shark. how this I'd dude has not. You let me get him right up there. Here he comes. All right, guess what? He's probably just gonna pop everything. Look at the swivel. The swivel's open. Swivel's open. Yesterday that swivel opened too. Alright, we're gonna try to release this bad boy. Okay, stay in a fish fighting position. Oh. Nice. Woo! Good. 
That's a, who let them dogs out? All right, Aaron, blow by blow. How bad was it? I feel like I got coronavirus. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Look at that hook. I know. I know, don't say that. I gotta, I gotta sit down. No, you, you have, you have, you have sharkitis. Well, no more, no more sharkitis. Woo! That was a nice release, though, wasn't it, fellas? Yeah, that was good. That was a picture perfect release on one bad son of a bitch. All right, let's pack this in and get some airflow. This is a uh, shark battle interview, sir. Could you please uh, let us know what's been going on? Well. The What's the fight clock? Is that is it at least like 20 minutes or so by now? Yeah, yeah, 20, 25 minutes for Okay, sure. this is Walter Cronkite <laughs> of the shark fishing world. And there he is. This is probably the biggest one of the day, folks. Oh. And Greg is putting the absolute whoop ass on him. <laughs> <laughs> Which way it's going. Ooh, right now we're walking the dog. He's just swimming along with us. Look at that. That's an ugly stick. What do we call these? They're called a tiger, tiger elite jigging. And they're the best shark rods I've ever had. But then again, I use them for big old bull reds and everything. Shakespeare tiger. Elite jigging. Ugly stick. Oh my gosh. We're just walking the dog with him. All right, folks, we'll be back when he gets closer to the boat. Okay, that's what it looks like after 45 minutes, minimum, <laughs> minimum, on the biggest one of the day. And then, of course, very successful release. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good job. Good job. Pop them with the old ACR release tool. But then I had my pliers handy in case I couldn't get rid of them. Whoa. That's the biggest one of the day. My goodness gracious. Hey, I'm tired just looking at him. <laughs> I'm tired just looking at him. Shirt's all covered in sweat. All right. We're going to take it out of gear and have a drink. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. It is now a Tuesday morning. I think this is about my sixth day in a row here. As you can see in some of the footage, we've been doing lots of shark fishing. A lot of people like it. I know a lot of people poo-poo it, but it's fast action and it's close. 
That's fun. A lot of people want the big pool. So, uh, we had Aaron there in the beginning, and then Greg afterwards. That was two separate days. Did an attempt offshore last Saturday. It was miserable. I mean, we, I went to some spots. I don't have a ton of offshore spots in my machine, in my GPS, so um, I just went to the ones that I had. And the, the bottom fishing was terrible. I mean, we caught some fish, but nothing like I have in the past. And everybody else was talking about how terrible it was, too. So it's like 6 o'clock in the morning right now on a Tuesday. Lots and lots of kids trips. So it's a beautiful sunrise this morning. I'm early. I got people coming from two hours away. Two kids, mom and dad from Ohio. And dad wants to catch a shark. So every day I go shark fishing, I have to make up new leaders because we burn them like absolute matchsticks. I make six, and as you saw in my probably one of my previous videos that I'll link below on how I make my shark leaders, I ran out of 10 ot must add hooks. Um, I mean, sometimes we no sooner put a leader in the water with a bait, and it's like, <laughs> gone. I have no earthly idea what's happening. Tail wrapping, biting the swivels, I do not know. But I mean that's how fast you can lose a shark rig. If you want if you want something to get tore up, just put it in front of sharks. Your tackle, your rigs, your hooks, we got bent hooks. Um, not even by big sharks. Just They'll just bend a hook. So that's what's been going on here. Uh, I'm taking a break at the next two days. I'm running into all kinds of issues here with putting my controller up on my console here from my kicker and running a throttle and shifter cable up with a with the with the electrical start cable and all that. Uh, parts back ordered all the way till July 29th. So me and Orowak are going to be working on this. I got to get this going, man. I'm telling you, this is good. This is an absolute brutal project, and I haven't even done any of the work yet. Just ordering these parts. It's like pulling teeth to figure out how to put a god dang kicker on a controller. On a throttle shifter control up on your dash. Oh my god. I mean, it's... I never... You know, everybody and their brother will... Oh yeah, we can rig a 200. They don't know... Not Nobody knows nothing about no kicker motors. Not around here. If I was in the Pacific Northwest, if I was in the Great Lakes, yeah, there's probably people that do it. Around here, they go, uh, controls on a kicker? What? It's like absolute crazy bullshit. I haven't even gotten the parts yet. And it's already, the, the, the troubles have already started. A lot of my parts ain't even going to be delivered till think maybe this week I'm gonna call them tomorrow I've literally got to take a day for admin to handle this because you got to sit on the phone for hours and hours I've already spent $1,030 now of course that might get cheaper now because they don't even have the parts and I have to I'm gonna cancel the back orders just to get even out there with the sharks I'm running my 250 for hours and hours and hours, and I don't want to do that. That's the purpose of shifter, put the kicker down, mosey around on the kicker. It absolutely 
just sucks a little tiny bit of fuel. I mean, it's nothing compared to... And I don't want to put hours on my 250. That's the reason. So, that's what's been going on. I haven't been doing any videos. I know. But, there you go. That's an update. So, thanks for watching. I guess uh, it's going to be just more sharking. There's not anything worth hardly a hoot bottom fishing in between the jetties. Yesterday, we came in from the sharks. We dropped down just some shrimp to see what was going on. We caught two or three big croakers, and it was rest, hardhead, and sail cats. Hardhead and sail cats. I mean, really? Is that what this river has come to? Catfish? All right, so take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think I'll go fishing.